If you are reinstalling MySQL 8 database and getting errors or you want to completely remove MySQL database from one computer and migrate your databases to another computer then this tutorial is for you. Hi, my name is Pradhyan Kurnikam. I am a freelance web developer and Udemy instructor. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to completely uninstall or remove MySQL 8 database from Windows 11 operating system. Let's get started. Here I am on my Windows 11 operating system. I will go to Start menu, All app, MySQL and click to open MySQL 8.0 command line client window. Enter MySQL root user password to log in to MySQL server. And we are logged in in our MySQL root user account. Before we uninstall MySQL database server, the very first thing I would suggest is to backup your any existing databases. You may be learning SQL or working on a project of yours or your client. Once you remove MySQL database, all your data would be gone. So be careful before uninstalling MySQL database. Let's start with backup of MySQL database. If you do not have any database, then you don't need to worry about this step. You can directly skip to the next step. I'll execute SQL statement to display all databases. Show databases semicolon and press enter. In previous installation video, we created this PN tutorials database. This database doesn't have any tables or data rows. But let's assume it isn't empty. You might have one or more databases you are working with. Let's backup all these databases. Let's log out of root user account using exit statement. Press enter. In Windows 11 search, type cmd and right click on this command prompt icon and select as run as administrator. Press yes to allow the application. Minimize the Windows command prompt window and go to C drive, Program Files, MySQL, MySQL Server 8.0 and Bin Directory. Please note if you have installed MySQL in a different drive or different path, make sure you navigate to the respected MySQL installation path and open Bin folder. Now click this folder icon and right click and select copy to copy the mysql bin folder path close the bin folder and open windows command prompt window in windows command prompt enter cd space and right click to paste the mysql bin folder path press enter to change the directory to mysql bin folder now on this bin folder prompt enter mysql dump space dash u root dash p dash dash all dash databases greater than symbol in double quotes capital C colon backslash name of the file to backup I will name it as all db dot sql double quote complete this is the command to backup all the databases in our MySQL database. We will learn more about database export, import and its commands in a separate tutorial. For now just enter the command as it is to export all databases. I will save the database backup file on my C drive. But you can save it to any location you want. Press enter. Enter MySQL root user password. Press enter. And if we don't receive any error message, then we should have a backup file on C drive. Let's confirm. I'll go to my C drive. And sure enough, the database backup file exists. Keep this file safe for import purpose. I will close the C drive and Windows command prompt window. Now let's move to uninstall step. Before we uninstall MySQL database from Windows 11 operating system, we must disable or stop MySQL Server instance. Let's do it now. 
इन विंडोज 11 सर्च टाइप सर्विसेस एंड क्लिक टू ओपन दिस सर्विसेस विंडो ऑन दिस सर्विसेस विंडो अंडर नेम कॉलम स्क्रोल डाउन अंटिल यू फाइंड माइस्क्यूल एट जीरो इंस्टेंस फॉर दिस माइस्क्यूल इंस्टेंस अंडर स्टेटस कॉलम यू कैन सी इट इन रनिंग स्टेट इफ द इंस्टेंस इज इन रनिंग स्टेट सिलेक्ट द माइस्क्यूल एट जीरो इंस्टेंस एंड क्लिक स्टॉप सर्विस बटन फ्रॉम द टॉप मेनू इफ द माइस्क्यूल इंस्टेंस डजेंट शो द स्टेटस or is in stopped state it means we have successfully disabled or stopped the mysql server instance close the services window now on windows 11 search enter control panel click the control panel icon to open the control panel window on control panel window under programs click to open uninstall a program window on uninstall program window first select mysql workbench 8.0 ce and click this top uninstall button press y to allow the application to run and it should take less than a minute to uninstall mysql workbench similarly this time select mysql server 8.0 and click the top uninstall button and finally select mysql installer community and click the top uninstall button Here we uninstall MySQL Workbench, MySQL Server, and MySQL Installer. Close the Control Panel window. Though we uninstall MySQL Server and its related applications, we still have some related files like database files, some configuration files, etc. Let's delete those files or directories to completely remove MySQL database from our Windows 11 computer. open c drive from the top menu click view show and select hidden items now one by one go to mysql directories and delete if the directory exist i have given the list of directories in description of this video go to c program files mysql and delete this mysql folder Similarly go to C program files x86 and if you find the mysql folder here delete it in my case the directory doesn't exist now go to C program data mysql and delete the folder if for some reason you can't delete this folder restart your computer and try it again Now go to C users admin username in my case it is pradnyank unikam you should navigate to your admin user directory app data roaming and this mysql folder delete the mysql folder go to C now again change folder permission back to previous state from top menu click view show and unselect this hidden items option close the c drive window and finally empty recycle bin to permanently delete the mysql database related directories if you want to reinstall mysql I would suggest you to restart your computer. Here we successfully uninstalled MySQL database and removed database related files from our Windows 11 operating system. We already have removed MySQL database from our computer. This step is optional 
This step is mainly for users who had backup of their databases and want to import those databases to a new MySQL installation on the same computer or on a different computer with MySQL installed on it. If you want to learn how to install MySQL 8 database on Windows 11 operating system, check out my another video tutorial where I have covered everything step by step in detail. The link is in the video description. Alright, I'll go to Start, All Apps, MySQL, and click to open MySQL command line client window. Enter MySQL root user password to log in to MySQL server. And we are logged in in our MySQL root user account. Now execute SQL statement to display all databases. Show databases semicolon press enter. Currently we don't have any database in our new MySQL installation. Log out of MySQL database using exit statement. In Windows 11 search type cmd and right click on this command prompt icon and select run as administrator. Press Y to allow the application. Just like in backup step, go to MySQL bin folder. C Program Files, MySQL, MySQL Server 8.0, Bin folder. Click this folder icon, right click and click to copy the path. Close the MySQL Bin folder directory and in Windows command prompt type cd space, right click to paste the MySQL Bin folder path. Press enter. On this MySQL bin folder prompt, type MySQL dash u root dash p less than symbol. In double quotes, enter full path to the backup file we created earlier. In my case, the file is located at c drive colon backslash all db dot sql double quote complete. Press enter. Enter your MySQL root user password. Press enter. If you see no error message, then import was successful. Let's confirm by logging in to MySQL root user account. From this bin folder prompt, we can directly log in to MySQL root user account. Type MySQL dash u root dash p. Press enter. Enter root user password. And we are logged in to root user account. Now execute SQL statement to display all the databases. Show databases semicolon press enter. And this time we can see our database was restored successfully. Please note if you already have some databases in this MySQL installation, those databases will remain as it is and new databases will get created. I will exit out of MySQL root user account and close the windows command prompt window. In this tutorial, we learn how to properly uninstall or remove MySQL 8 database from Windows 11 operating system. I hope you understood the steps given in this tutorial. If you have any doubts or encounter errors or didn't understand something, you can ask me questions in the comment section of this video. If this tutorial was helpful to you, Hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.